all right so let's start this was departments table department duplicate table and this is department manager duplicate table we'll be using these two tables to understand about sql joins now what is sql join so yesterday when i was discussing that you can actually relate two tables together um please okay so um we'll be talking about sql joins so you can join basically when i say we can join two tables we are not actually joining or combining the two tables what we are trying to do is we are trying to get output from two different tables right so for example if i need employees number uh, their first name and their department number right so employee number and first num first name will come from the employees table and their department number will come from the department table right so we are trying to uh, join these two tables and get output from more than one table so this is called as join now there are different types of joins that we'll be uh, doing so it's very simple all of these joins are more or less similar right so firstly let's start with inner join now what is inner join like imagine a venn diagram so imagine i have made two circles the intersection part right between the two circles will be the inner join basically the two circles are the two tables and the inner join means the intersection part of the two tables i'm trying to extract i'm trying to join my two tables on one particular common column you can join the two tables on a common column and the output which you get for example if i have two tables the inner join or the intermediate part or the intersection part that output will be extracted and that is called the inner join so we'll see this with an example it will become more clear so for example let us uh, first quickly open the workbench quickly open the workbench if you all have any doubt just post it in the group okay uh, in the chat box and if you all have any error you all can just click a screenshot and share it in the group all right so over here again since i am opening my sql now so i'll have to pass the code use employees database all right so it's working now what i want over here is let us first see what all output are we getting from the uh, department manager duplicate table so let me select all from department manager duplicates and see if it's working for you all as well and you all can order this by maybe department number in ascending order so i'll just run this so here we have here we have the department manager table it has 26 rows and these are the values that we are getting out of which these four additional values we had created yesterday right same thing let's do for the departments duplicate table okay so this i'm doing the same thing for the departments duplicate table again we are getting 11 rows right these are the 11 rows now how to deal with a inner join so firstly we'll construct a inner join so i want just understand what i want okay my target is i'll just quickly open this ppt it will become easier for you all to visualize i want department manager i want the department number okay i want the department number i want the employee number and i want the department name so i can get the department number from either of these two tables employee number is here and department name is here right now you have to specify since you are joining two tables you have to specify from which table do you want to extract what so here i want to extract the employee number and department number from the department manager table and i want to extract department name from the department duplicate table so here when we are making when we are writing the select query like we did uh, yesterday it will you will have to write it in the same manner so i'll write depart i'll want to select department number 
I want to select uh, employee number and I want to select um, department name. Okay, these are as it is as I want to select from now you have to specify from which tables do you want to join uh, from which tables do you want to extract so from department manager duplicate and from this table you cannot use the word and over here instead we'll use the word join join departments duplicate table you'll then have to specify on what basis on what basis can we join the two tables so what is the common link between these two tables department number is the common link common link means common column okay so i can write and one more very important thing this is the department table and this is the department manager table these are two adjacent tables you can only join two adjacent tables okay so these are two adjacent tables and it's related through employee department number all right so what we'll do is we'll write the keyword on now before moving ahead you'll have to specify when you are just writing these they'll not understand as to from which column or which table you want to extract the department number so you'll have to specify the table name so for that what I'll do is I will have to specify the table name first and then dot department number. So this is the table name and this is the column name that I want to extract. This is the table name dot column name and this I'll extract from the department's duplicate table. Alright? Understood? From these two tables and you want to join this using using the department's number column so this again dot department number equal to dot department number clear is this clear see uh, you will have to you cannot use the word and or anything when you are combining two tables you are using the keyword join and you have to specify on what basis you are joining it and you just cannot write join for time being we can write join uh, okay let's run this this is let's run the basic code and then I'll uh, build upon this so basically I'm extracting three columns department number employee number and department name from two different columns or uh, from two different tables which is department manager and departments duplicate table you have to specify the table name from which table you want to extract which particular column and on what what is the joining what is the link between the two tables and when I run this I'm getting a output let's first understand and then you all can later on run the code let's first understand the output okay this is very important we are getting an output of 20 rows 20 rows affected we are getting an output of 20 rows now what does this 20 rows signify so over here we have D003 now this is my so one is considered as a left table one is considered as a right table so this is my left the table name which you mentioned first will be considered as the left table so basically this is my left table okay this is my left table and this is my right table so here here this left table from this I'm joining using department number so they will check the department number D002 please understand this carefully otherwise we'll not be able to proceed with other joins because this is the simplest here we have D002 do we have D002 over here no so that is why in my output what we can do is let's order by this order by uh, department number but is this code correct is this code correct I'll have to specify which department number so I'll have to specify the table as well department manager duplicate you can select any one but since generally it's the convention that we select the left table okay now let me run this Depa uh -huh. 
ठीक है सो वी हैव डी जीरो जीरो टू इज़ नॉट देर सी डी जीरो जीरो टू इज़ नॉट देर स्टिल वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी रोज सो डी जीरो जीरो टू इज़ नॉट देर डी जीरो जीरो थ्री इज इन बोथ द टेबल्स सो दे आर ज्वाइनिंग ऑन डी जीरो जीरो थ्री दे केन फाइंड इट ओवर हेयर एज वेल एंड ओवर हेयर एज वेल सो दे आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग दीज टू दीज टू दीज टू वैल्यूज सी वी हैव डी जीरो जीरो थ्री डी जीरो जीरो थ्री मार्क ह्यूमन रिसोर्स वी हैव डी जीरो जीरो थ्री जीरो 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 थ्री एंड वी हैव टू डिफरेंट एम्प्लॉयज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स ओके बिकॉज दे आर ज्वाइनिंग एज पर दिस कॉलम डिपार्टमेंट नंबर सो वेर एवर द डिपार्टमेंट नंबर विल बी सेम दे विल एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस टेबल ओके सो इफ डी जीरो जीरो थ्री इज थ्री टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स वील गेट फोर डिफरेंट वैल्यूज विद फोर डिफरेंट एम्प्लॉयज और टू डिफरेंट एम्प्लॉयज एंड द डिपार्टमेंट नेम ऑब्वियसली इफ द डिपार्टमेंट नंबर इज सेम डिपार्टमेंट नेम विल बी सेम ऑब्वियसली ओके सो वी हैव टू एम्प्लॉयज हु आर द डिपार्टमेंट मैनेजर्स ऑफ डी जीरो जीरो थ्री ओके देन वी हैव डी जीरो जीरो फोर वी हैव इट ओवर ह्योर एंड वी हैव इट ओवर ह्योर एज वेल सो वी हैव फोर रोज ऑफ डी जीरो जीरो आई जो जूम दिस इन वी हैव फोर रोज ऑफ डी जीरो जीरो फोर सो वी हैव फोर रोज ओवर ह्योर सिमिलरली वी हैव डी जीरो जीरो फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन डू वी हैव सी प्लीज सी वी हैव डी जीरो वन जीरो एंड डी जीरो वन वन इन डिपार्टमेंट्स डुप्लीकेट टेबल बट डू वी हैव इट ओवर ह्योर नो दैट इज वाई वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द आउटपुट ओवर ह्योर सिमिलरली ह्योर वी हैव अ नल वैल्यू सो वाई आर वाई आर एंट वी कंबाइनिंग दिस नल विद दिस नल विल इट मेक एनी सेंस दीज आर ब्लैंक वैल्यूज सो यू कैन यू कैन नॉट रैंडमली जस्ट कंबाइन टू ब्लैंक वैल्यूज राइट यू कैन नॉट कंसिडर इट टू बी सेम टू ब्लैंक वैल्यूज कैन नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड एज same so that is why we are not getting these so out of all these 26 here we had 26 rows in the department managers table out of that what values are we not getting these four and these two all the other values we are getting right correct so we are getting 20 values okay so this is called your inner join where you get the common the intersection part of two tables so what all are the intersection parts of the two column two tables d003 4 5 so on up till d009 understood tell me understood any doubt so far now one more thing we can write the same code with the word in a join so i did not use the word in a join i just used join so i can use in a join and i'll get the same exact same output so we can interchangeably by default when you are writing join it will be taken as in a join ha huh. any one is correct you are getting the same answer 